Welcome back friends, I'm Simon. I'm Ellie. And if you enjoy this video, then please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and engage that bell thing. That would be very kind of you indeed. And of course, it's San Diego Comic Con weekend, which is pretty much Star Trek weekend, because we've had new Section 31, we've got new Strange New Worlds, new Lower Decks! Um, so, we have not checked out any of these yet, but uh, I am a huge fan of Star Trek Strange New Worlds, so we're going to head over and check out the first looks that just came from Paramount Plus during San Diego Comic Con. But before we do that, we want to know from you guys, so please throw this in the comments. Who is your favorite Star Trek captain? And why? Yeah, I know it's a hard one, right? Don't just say Picard. Don't go for the easy option. <laughs> and if you say Kirk, which Kirk? We need to know. So who is your favorite Star Trek captain and why? And we will answer the question for you after we've checked out this first looks video. If you want to see what we think about it, then stick around until the end. But for now, let's fly. Engage. I was able to jury rig the Kirkovian serum that turned human Spock back into a Vulcan. Should be able to do the same for us, only in reverse. Why? The sensory change is brief. The feeling is instantaneous. I will guide you through the sensation until you are acclimated, which should not take long. Oh, I Physical love this already. I would suggest a deep breath. Elliot. By the time you reach three, it should be over. One, two, three. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> My emotions feel overwhelming. Oh, I cannot handle all this. You don't feel anything? No. <laughs> to be honest, I'm a little jealous. That looks like fun. <laughs> Yes. Why did his Unusual. hair get taller? My perception has increased. Everything I once found dull now seems to be... Fascinating. <laughs> oh, poop. I wonder if the serum did not work on you because you're lanthanite. Honestly, I had the same problem with LSD in the 1960s and the 1990s and last July. <laughs> Since Pelia cannot become Vulcan, I can cover her part of the mission. I suppose I can direct you from the bridge. Five Vulcans should be more than enough down there. Four and one half. Spock is only half Vulcan, uh... whereas the four of us are fully Vulcan. Is that not logical, uh, Spock? <laughs> Indeed, it is. <laughs> Number one, four and one half Vulcans to beam down. Energize. <laughs> There's no need to be such a dick. Status report. Mitchell, they've entered the structure. That was fast. All areas inside the structure are secured. Well, this will likely take a few hours. There's a very complex... Radiation normal? What? Already? Enterprise, the energy system is now repaired. All atomic levels are nominal. The energy source is functioning perfectly. You sound upset. Well, yeah. They're making me look bad. We have completed the mission. You may return us to Enterprise. Hmm. Thought this would be a bit more exciting. But whatever. Hello, shore leave. I haven't even broken into a sweat. <laughs> Welcome back. 
I believe we will still be able to reach Promante 3 within expected travel parameters. I am almost disappointed not to be able to take further advantage of my temporary broken abilities. Agreed. My communication style has never been so <laughs> Poor efficient. Spock. That was the mission for you, Mr. Spock. Ironic. <laughs> because I was constantly reminded that I was logically the least Vulcan member present. Don't worry. That's about to change. Any second now. Hmm. There's chapel. What was that sub vocalization? What do you see? For reasons unknown, the Kirkovian serum does not appear to be working. Uh oh. It appears that we will remain Vulcans indefinitely. Well, logical. Um, Oh my goodness, I just wanted to watch the rest of that, but uh, what did you think of our first glimpse of Star Trek Strange New World Season 3? I'm going to say something shocking and controversial. Oh, you're going to say you didn't like it? I hated it. What? That was the cheesiest, stupidest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, no, you're, you're joking. No, seriously. You're joking. Seriously. Oh my, you didn't like it? Oh. It was like slapstick, stupid leaning into stereotypes <laughs> and humour. Like Spock's reaction when they kept reminding him that he's only half vocal, and like that was mildly amusing. Oh, Apelia is always a delight, but I, ugh, they're gonna have to work really hard. It was just cartoonish, and I really like Strange New Worlds, and I really like the way they handle humor. Oh, there is a potential for them to come back from this, but it it was stupid. No way! Really I am stupid, shocked, and horrified. Like, I'm angry. I'm actually angry at your illogical anger. <laughs> <laughs> aimed at strange new worlds well um i have a theory though i have a theory that the reason strange new worlds works is it is extremely silly and slapstick and ridiculous but it balances it with heart and emotion and a deeper storyline and this first look included none of the latter if they stay vulcan for more than one episode <laughs> i'm not watching the rest of it I, I Why thought... did their hair change? <laughs> All their hair change. Falcons have different hair. Or just slightly taller and straighter. <laughs> yes. How does changing your genetic composition change the way your hair is that day? <laughs> they fell on the floor and stood up with completely different haircuts. <laughs> um, wow, we are in a <laughs> safari divided. <laughs> Over Strange New World season three, um, I must admit, I also thought I, I, I thought it was interesting that nobody commented on Nurse Chapel's different hair, and then the fact that it was dramatically different thirty seconds later. I was like, oh, maybe people's hair just changes in the future, and I don't know. Maybe that's what happens in space. Your hair just goes weird. Uh, space showers. I don't know. <laughs> they well. didn't go anywhere. They <laughs> fell on the floor and stood up again. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, well, that was an illogical reaction to the... Uh... Even the stupid walking down the corridor. Oh, I love that bit. The stupid dramatic <laughs> outfits. I love the fact that... Why did they have to do that for a mission that they could complete in eight seconds? What was the reason for it? Did you spot, though, and I think I, I, think I did, but I haven't watched um, any of the early, early Star Trek stuff in so long, I could be wrong, the... the axe thing that Pike was carrying I think was the one that Kirk and Spock used when they had their the na -na 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 that thing it's that wasn't the, the music um, it's the ritual battle yeah that yeah. see I think that was the same weapon yeah See, because it's a traditional ritual thing. But See, like, it's traditional. Still, I don't care. It's still cheesy and <laughs> stupid. Well, um, okay. So we are divided on Strange New Worlds first look. But who is your favourite Star Trek captain, and why? Not Pike anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um. Before you told me not to choose Picard, I was going to say Picard. You can choose Picard because I feel like Picard is a really good space dad. But having rewatched DS9 recently, oh. I feel like Cisco is also a good space dad. But DS9 exists in a 
flawed scenario where people are actually able to be people there's like some capitalism and that kind of thing and there's like some political issues and f him figuring out how to be a good single dad in that situation um, and Jake was a challenging kid to raise um, I just feel like everything he overcame and he he didn't make good choices um, quite notoriously made some pretty poor ones um, for, what, for what he thought were the right reasons and ended up in some hot water um, but I, I feel like what he worked through is a lot more what it's like to be a parent where you think you're going to be one way and then all these scenarios come up um, and you just kind of have to figure out the best way to be a good parent in that situation whereas Picard always seemed to kind of know the answers a lot of the time in a way that felt amazing like he would be amazing to have as a dad but he wasn't relatable as a parent and if you're if you're gonna nitpick and say well actually Benjamin Sisko wasn't a captain he ran a space station the defiant dude. <laughs> so you can just delete that comment before even hitting enter. He wrote, he piloted the. He was the captain of the defiant. He had captain vibes, even if he wasn't technically the captain. Yeah. It was just about he the had vibes. Big captain energy. Um, ask me. So, what is your favorite Starfleet captain? And why? And why? Be uh, captain Pike. Because I really, really hope he stays a Vulcan for the entirety of season three, and if not, he's still awesome. Because he cooks with the crew, and he's he's like the dad of the crew. I, so does Cisco cook with the crew? Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't he cooks, cook in. The, he he cooks, doesn't have a little apron on. He cooks soul food and gumbo. Oh, and his food. dad has a gumbo restaurant that we also saw in Lower Decks. Yeah, I guess. But my pick is Captain Pike because his hair is very tall when he's a Vulcan. You can't pick him just because his hair is tall. <laughs> I, well, I can and I have, so therefore that is over. Well, we have more Star Trek to check out. There's a bunch more from San Diego Comic Con, so we're going to have to go and argue over that. If you enjoyed this video, what is wrong with you? And please remember to like and subscribe because we'll be arguing about more stuff later. And uh, we will see you on the next Nerd Safari. Make it so.